So I'm Neil deGrasse Tyson, your personal astrophysicist. Did you know it's actually okay to eat glue? Yeah, it sounds crazy, but it's true. See, our body's metabolism is actually much more capable than we give it credit for. It can digest anything from carbon, the building blocks of life, to the common household bottle of sulfuric acid. I've been asked to take a look at the study of teriology proposed by actor Terence Howard, who you may remember from Marvel's 2008 motion picture, Iron Man, in which he played the title character, Colonel James Rhodes. And then I was like, pull out your calculator. Divide it by two, it get back to 1.414. Cubit again is back to 2.828. Divided by two, back to 1.414. Here we're making, here we're taking one, two, three big steps. We're dividing it by two, and we get back to the same value as we had in the very beginning. That's a loop. That's x cubed being equal to 2x, which is equal to x plus x. That's an, an unnatural equation. I was watching the hit 1995 animated feature film, Toy Story, and noticed a scientific inaccuracy. Maybe if the writers weren't so high when they wrote the screenplay, they would have noticed that there's no such thing as zombie chimera toys. Because you know how I figured it out? What's one times one? To multiply means to do what? To make more, right? Yes. Increase a number? Yes. Multiply? Yes. How can one times one equaling one be part of the multiplication table? It fails to satisfy the term multiply. It doesn't multiply. If you're filling a glass and reach the halfway point, it's half full. If you're emptying a glass and reach the halfway point, it's half empty. If you're drinking a glass of sulfuric acid, let's see how we can go about proving Terence Howard's claim that 1 times 1 equals 2. Consider two non-zero numbers, x and y, such that x equals y. Let's multiply both sides by x, and now we'll subtract y squared. Then we'll divide by x minus y to get x plus y equals y. Since x equals y, we can rewrite this as 2y equals y. Dividing by y shows that 2 equals 1. Recall that it can be derived from the piano axioms that 1 times any number n equals n. Then we can multiply the right-hand side by 1 without changing the equality. And just like that, we have shown that Howard's claim can be derived from a simple set of axioms and assumptions. Easy as pie!